What's up, pack? We are back with another video. Dab it. Let's go. So today is exciting, guys. We are doing a review of the stroller. We finally got it in the mail. Tell them what it is, babe. Tell them what it is. So, Tell them what they've won. The Nuna Jammy Girl in the what threaded? Threaded, yeah, the, it's the threaded edition. They can see right here. Oh, yeah. So, this is it's the threaded collection. Nordstrom has it exclusively, so you can only buy this colorway at Nordstrom. And for today's video, we're going to be pretty much talking about the pros and cons to the stroller and really why we chose this stroller out of all the million strollers in the world. If you know about Nuna, like the brand, you do know that it's a little bit higher up. It's a, it's a luxury. It's like a luxury item, but this is the only thing we pretty much like splurged on. Um, but we really wanted to make sure we had like a good infant car seat and a good stroller for the boys because we are planning on hopefully having a baby in the future and we can definitely use this stroller in the future as well. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about why we chose this baby. <laughs> it's a yep. new baby. She did way more research on this stuff than I did, that's for sure. So she knows a lot more about, you know, what the difference is. So tell them, tell them the two, or actually the top three that we were thinking about getting and why we went with this one. We were trying to go with a double stroller for sure because Axel is not, I guess like, he, he can walk obviously, but he's not like, we don't feel comfortable with him just walking by himself, you know? Like we either want him in the stroller or we tie him to this little thing and, so Wait, hold on, let's show them. <laughs> yeah. So this right here, we call it the kid leash. So the knob, pretend the knob is Axel's wrist. Yeah, the elephant. Yeah, and then this right here goes on my wrist. And they even have a little key right here so that you can lock the locking mechanism on that. So, and then he also has an elephant. You just strap this onto his back and it's got a little leash. This is the leash. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we don't feel comfortable with just having Axel just walk beside us, um, you know, when we go, especially when we go out to the stores because nowadays there's a lot of kidnapping and he can just walk, wander, and we don't know where he went, you know? So we definitely wanted a double stroller. Also, if he fell asleep, I wasn't going to carry him. Juan wasn't going to carry him. He's a heavy boy. So we definitely wanted something comfortable for him. And the three strollers that we were possibly thinking of were one, the Nuna, because I really wanted the Nuna. Um, this but, is the Nuna. But the reason why we weren't for sure on the Nuna was just because we didn't know we wanted to spend that much on a stroller. And um, the other one that we were uh, thinking of going with was the, the Upper Baby Vista and the maxi cozy the maxi cozy but we were also considering the even flow at one point because we didn't know we wanted to spend this like this much money on a stroller right um but for me the even flow because like family told us like don't really you guys don't need to spend that much money on a stroller like the even flow it's pretty much the same thing you know you can put two babies in there and call it a day but for me i definitely wanted something that was more comfortable for both of them just because with axel we had Graco, was it Graco? and he hated his car seat and he hated the stroller so the even flow i was not sold on the car seat the infant car seat just because i don't think it looks that comfortable personally it doesn't have enough padding for me like the padding that it comes with it doesn't do it for me and i did not want to buy inserts because inserts for the baby are bad um what i've read the research that i've done you're not supposed to put like inserts that don't come with the stroller in the car seat so that's why we didn't go with the even flow and we were stuck with the maxi cozy or we're not stuck with that's why we eliminated that eliminated one. eliminated that one so it narrowed our options down to maxi the maxi cozy because the, the car seat was better for me so we eliminated the maxi cozy second and we were left with the nuna and the upper baby vista yep. so the Upper Baby Vista is actually more expensive than the Nuna. It comes with more things. If you get like the like the whole like packet or what would you call it, like the whole thing, um, it does come with a bassinet. Although 
we don't think we're going to be using the bassinet because the bassinet is mainly when they're newborns we don't plan on going out <laughs> like in the first three months if not more with all of this going on we're going to be here at home and we already have a bassinet for him so we don't see like you know the reason why to buy point. another yeah the point of buying right. another one also something that i didn't like from that stroller the newborn baby was gonna our, our newborn baby was gonna have to be in the bottom seat because axel is past 30 pounds and if you are more than 30 pounds the baby has to sit like up here and i don't know how i feel about my newborn being down there because if i do sit axel down there and he's too heavy the whole stroller can tip over we don't want that it's really nice yeah it looks nice but yeah, it's true. Like the like the li the lighter baby has to go out front. Right. So it would mean that like when you're pushing, let's say that Alex Javi, the newborn, mm -hmm. um, starts crying or his chupon falls off, you're gonna have to stop, walk all the way to the front of the stroller, fix it, then walk back. Yeah. As opposed to just leaning in there and getting it. Also, with that one, it is a wider stroller and it is longer than this one. So for me, being a petite person, like, it was going to be, like, a lot for me to maneuver. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, like, if this one's big, the other one's way bigger. And a lot of people like the other one more than this one because of the whole basket situation. Because this one, you do lose the basket if you sit yeah. your child down there. But a lot of people don't like going with this one because they think the toddler is not going to want to sit down there. But Axel actually loves it down there. He was crying. <laughs> He woke up, he was taking a nap, he was crying, and we put him in there with the iPad, and he's happy. He's you like it in there, buddy? You like it? You cozy? <laughs> he's ignoring us, so that's a yeah. yes. <laughs> but yeah, so with this one, yeah, that was a that was like a con, right? That people didn't like that you were compromising the basket. But oh, that's the only way. The yeah, and that's the only way that you can actually center the weight of the right. of the whole stroller, because if as you can see, like the baby would go here, you know, the infant, and then right under the heavier baby, the brother, the bigger one. And it's so, so easy for the taller to get It's centered. In there. Yeah, it's centered. Yeah. Right? As opposed to the Vista, which it was, it would be this position, but, you know, facing facing forward, right? You can't face it backwards, or can you? What? The Vista? Yeah. You can. You can flip it. Right, but can it be forward and, or backwards yeah. and forward? Yeah, so like, you would have the baby on top and then another one on the front, right? And then so you would have the basket. So, so Axel would be up here and the baby right. would be down there, but he can face forward. But he would be like all the way up there, down there. So can they face each other? Um, I think they can. But the thing is with the other one, you have to buy a whole bunch of different inserts. The main reason why we wanted this stroller. So let's go on to the more comprehensive and show them like all the stuff that we actually like. So this part right here, we actually bought separately. It doesn't come with this ensemble. Do they have a package? No, no, not the car seat no. and this one, yeah, not so this one, but they do have the car seat with the other one that we possibly thought of getting the. Oh yeah. Yeah. So this, this is the car seat that we went with. So it doesn't come with all of this, but it fits, it fits the Demi grill, right? So it's the Pippa light XL. And it's super light and it's really easy to, to install. You just pull a little lever here and up you go. And then it also came with that yeah, with that one and uh yeah. and the other two. It wasn't an add-on. The yeah. other two that you oh. just put on the side. Let's show the base. This is this is one of the reasons why these are one of the safest car seats out there. So this is the base and you and you don't have to take it out of the car. It even has a leveler here so you can see if the base is leveled. Right here is like the quick latch. So all the cars or most of the new cars, they should have these metal um, hitches right there on the seats. So you just go in there, latch them, and they're, and they're well put. And so that it also takes an impact. Let's say, you know, God forbid that you're in an accident. It has this anchor here, right? So, as you can see, it's more level, but the anchor actually lifts it up and it can go a little bit higher. Yep, that's as high as it goes. But yeah, it anchors it so it doesn't move. Right? Yeah. So, all you got to do is just when, you're, when you go to the store, right, you just pick it up. <laughs> it's 
So you go in your car and just boom. Yeah. That's it, baby. Let's go. And then when you. Yeah. Uh, also, when you use this insert that it comes with, it's a little bit easier to take it out because all you do is push this down. You push it and then you lift it. If you use the other inserts that it comes with, it's just two inserts that go right there. You would have to push the bot the buttons on the side and then lift it like that. Yeah. Which is a little harder to do, but it is a light um, car seat, so I feel like either way you're still... Yes. You'll still be able to lift it. Yeah, so we did a lot of research on this seat and it's really it's it's a really safe and can seat. So that's what we went with this one. Um and also we went with this color scheme because it looks nice, right? It's got this leather feel over here, it looks very it feels luxurious. This is like the Louis Vuitton or the Gucci <laughs> of strollers, right? And then as you can see these wheels are massive. You can go off-roading on these wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Both show. We got a little guard here, so it also comes with those guards. Yeah, it also comes with these guards, so you know if you go through some water, these wheels aren't gonna spit up and you know dirty up this very luxurious finish. <laughs> right. So as you can see, the baby is sitting there very nicely, very cozy, right? And uh, you can also give it some shade. That. That you don't want zipper? Shade? Oh. You don't want no shape? No. Tapate, tapate. And then you got this right here. It's also a little. Like canopy thing. Yeah, a little canopy looking thing. So if the sun is hitting it. Because you can also put this seat up there and you can put the infant car seat in the bottom. Boom. And, and a, peek, a little peekaboo. Yeah, a little peekaboo. And it's, it's magnetic. Singing. So you can be like, oh, okay. He's, he's watching not, something. He's not watch, yeah, he's not, he's not watching anything indecent, right? And then this is super easy to put back. Put back. You just put it back. Okay. Boom. Ha ha. Also, a lot of people uh, did mention that they don't like the fact that the baby's head or like the toddler's head is back here. Yeah, and then you also have this right here. Oh, yeah. Extension. So if you want to be, you know, closer or, uh, well, that's for Leslie, you know, or if you want a little bit more leg room when you're walking, you extend that, right? You still want your iPad? Or no? You want to play with toys? So the stroller didn't come with the little thing that hangs for the iPad, but we just kind of <laughs> tried it out because... So this is how you take the baby out. Yeah. So they can see the little... It's like a three-way thing, so... Or like a four. The connections right there. The side, over, yes. boom. It even makes them tired. Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> for the iPad. <laughs> All right, and this is a little potty book. Look at us I the said book. the book. You don't want your book, puppy? Okay. So there's a little bit of a basket. Still. Yeah. So if you have the smaller baby down here, so like if we put the the infant car seat at the bottom, you actually still have some room for like your diaper bag. Um, probably like up there, but we did order something on Amazon. You do, do you know what it's called? What you ordered for oh, up here? No idea. It's like a pouch. Padding. Yeah, look at the right padding. Here. This is like really, really nice material and really nice padding. But what it's I was talking thick. about is like if you go down here and you take all of this out, there's that uh, mesh. Yeah, mesh. Yeah, and um, lets the air through. It lets them have like ventilation. Yep. And I don't know if you want to show them like putting that one up there and that one down there so they see different. One thing that I that I that I'm kind of like eh, I don't know too much about like I don't really like is the fact that in order to collapse it you need oh, to take yeah. everything out. Right. So so basically like, let's say that you get to your car right you have to take you have to take this obviously you have to take the baby out. That would go in the car. Right? Baby goes in the car. Nice. Wah, wah. I'm just 
kidding. Right? You have to take this off. You do? Yeah. So, I mean, it's not, it's not too bad. It's just like little, little, it's just a quick release right there. You put that in the back of the, back of the car or somewhere. And you have to take this out. Which, I mean, it's not too bad. It's just two little levers here. Up. And the basket's actually really, really big. And when you want this as a basket, you just lift this up. And yeah. Then. Yeah, a lot of basket space. Mm. And then this is how it collapses. Oh, hold on, baby. Mom, daddy's going to show something now, Mom. It was all the way down. And see this, they don't, they don't, they let you extend, extend this out more, right? When, when, uh, when you have the seat, like it knows when there's seats there. So it's kind of tricky. Like you have to put like middle fingers here and then grab this and then pull it towards that. And then you fold it down, you fold it down. And that's when you grab it from and there. Then it, it's got a latch to that thing right there. So there's like this latch here. Gotta be up. Boom. It and also stands. You, yeah, that's when you grab it won't this come. and you go around. <laughs> and it's not too it's not too heavy either. I I know you can. Oh. I want it. Yeah. I want no, not all the way. Doesn't close it. Something's on the way. Maybe it's the black strings. No, tell me. No. Mm. But I mean, you can still put you it in like that. Like that. No! You carry it like that. Uh, Boom. You should know that by now. Very cool. Also, with this one, um, yeah. not like any other yeah. stroller, yeah, the, the infant. The infant can sit here as a newborn. All right, so this is what the stroller looks like the other way around. So this is with Axel on top and then Alexavi on the bottom there. What it looks like. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like this feature right here. So you just pull the lever and you can bring the baby all the way down or all the way up. Super easy. They also comes with this like um, little labor foot support, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and then you can also can put, it put it up, or you can put it all the way down. So Whoa. support or no support. Unless he was asleep and we wanted to. So this is what it looks like the other way around. If so you just flip it. You yeah. can probably put it like that. Have it like this. Kind of looks like a bassinet right there. Yeah, this is. Kind of like a bassinet too, and you can use. It also came with the rain cover. Oh yeah, it's like a plastic rain cover. Yeah, the rainy days. So, if you need more shade, this is very generous. So you can put them like that. Yep. Which is really cool. Encourage you right to buy one. It's a very good investment. <laughs> Alright. How does it ride? Pretty smooth? Pretty smooth. <laughs> So there you have it. That is our the stroller review. Nuna Demi Grow stroller review. The new whip. The new whip. The new rig. I'm very excited to install the car seat um, in the car. Also, I did want to mention that with Axel, uh, we had to upgrade his car seat really soon because he hated his infant car seat, the Graco one. Yeah. And we did go with the Nuna Taller. I don't know the name. It's just the Rava. Oh, uh, Rava and it's a very good seat so that's also why we wanted to go with nuna 
like this time around yeah. because we already like fell in love with the product. So if you guys made it this far, for real, you guys are a real one. And for me and Leslie and Axel and uh, Alex Xavi. Yeah, Axel, Axel and Alex Xavi. We'll see y'all to the next one. Bye. Bye.